felt brooches and more. Tip number three, the sewing order. So here I have all the pieces for the little robin that we cut out earlier. So this is the top layer. So I'm going to start with this and the details. So the details we have on the robin are the red breast, the wing, and we would have a little eye as well. So I'm going to place the pieces on. And that's going to help me decide what to sew first and how to sew it. So with the little robin, I want the wing to have a little 3D effect. So I'm not going to stitch this bottom part of the wing on. So I can't sew the wing first. So if I take that off, I'm going to sew the red breast on first. And I'm going to sew just this line here. I don't have to sew the bottom part at the moment because I can stitch that when we stitch all the way around. So the first stitching I do is this line here and your robin template has that on it as a little hint. And there are some hints in the instructions that help you with this. So this line here first and then I'm going to place the wing over the top and I like that to overlap on the red breast. It just adds a little bit of detail, makes it look 3D. And when I do this, I'm going to stitch just this line here. So just along the top of the wing. And when that's stitched down, it's going to leave this little 3D bit here. And that just adds a little, nice little bit of detail. After I do that, I'll stitch a little eye on, usually with a little bit of black thread and a few stitches. Once these parts are all on, I can layer up my front and the back. In tip one, we talked about flipping the template over to draw your second piece. And the reason for that is so that any of your lines that you've used that are left over when you cut out will all be inside your piece. So you won't have any lines from drawing around your template on the outside. So there we go. The order of sewing. There are tips for a few of the pieces in the kit for example the penguin has either a, a black or grey background for the body and a white tummy it also has you would also want to sew on some eyes and the little beak so my recommendation for that would be you sew the tummy on first and then you sew the beak and the eyes before you do the whole piece together